All right, welcome back to another episode of Event Hub's Talk and Block. I am John Catalyst Gray, and with me as always is John Velociraptor Carrero. With you as always, doing another one of these. It's been a minute, and you got to go to Evo, you lucky devil, you. Um, how was that? It was wonderful. Um, it's uh, awesome. It's been 11 years since I've been out there. Uh, we did a, another video here uh, with uh, the cosplayers, mm -hmm. which of course make it much more fun to go to Evo. And then uh, um, uh, <laughs> they had the great arcade set up. We did the venue tour and all that kind of stuff too. So most people just watched the first part of that video, the first uh, two minutes with all the hot cosplayers in there. Uh, but some people actually did watch the rest of it. So there's a there's a great video up there if you people want to see my impression. I only it. watched the first two minutes, I admit. Yeah. But uh, I hear the rest of it's really good. If you guys want to check that out. One of the things that John did while he was at Evo was he got to play Street Fighter Six. He got hands on time with the game. We are now full blown experts. I haven't played it, but I've heard about it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I well, first of all, there's another video up where he just talks about his uh, experiences there. And that has been very eye opening, very exciting recommend you guys go check that out but i also wanted to just have a back and forth in this talking block format where we just kind of shoot the you know what and i ask some questions about how the game feels flows you know you may know you may not know he's only got to play it and it was like kind of a laggy setup as i understand i don't know why they're still doing that why that's still a thing i have a, a handful of questions here i want to talk to you about let the conversation go where it goes and um, hopefully that will be interesting mm -hmm. oh it definitely will be we don't we don't we don't do videos that are not interesting john this is this that's is a true rule, so which is why you should like and comment and it's subscribe like and all that stuff so that this pops up in your feed more often and you can yes. see our not not interesting videos yeah so let's jump right into it here um okay i this is not the thing that i'm the most interested in but i see this come up every time it seems that somebody plays the game and somebody talks about it they say that the gravity or the the weight of the characters mm -hmm. feels and they compare it to netherrealm studios games now to me that sounds like it means that when you jump into the air your character has a lot less float it's a lot less chun li uh, traditionally speaking, and more of like they go up and they come down real fast, and they're like a they're a big weighty rock or something like that. Is that what you're? Is that what people are talking about when they say that? Yeah, um, the game feels more weighty in terms of I think the normals and the other stuff. That the jumps actually feel fairly floaty right now. Um, okay. So you, everyone's kind of got that Chun Li Street Fighter Four jump where they get into the air and you know they're they're up there for a while. Uh, even mm -hmm. you know Jamie who kind of has like such a, a more of kind of like you can tell he's a speed character, he's a dive kick character, um, and, and those characters typically don't have as floaty of a jump. Even even his jump feels pretty arky, you know, uh, for lack of a better way. So of, characters uh, are in the air for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but in terms of stuff feeling heavy, um, and you know, that it's more of an NRS type of thing, and it, that might be, you know, we're playing on PlayStation Five. Shots PlayStation. Sony sponsor the show. Uh, we certainly love your input delay. We always talk about how great that is to have in fighting games. Um, that seems to be part of the issue. But the other issue is, uh, I, I think it's um, it's a game in development, and one of the main things that you're tweaking is the timing, the input delay, all that kind of stuff. That is happening hardcore in development at all points of time. But it also might be the way the game plays as well. You go from Street Fighter 4 to Street Fighter 5 and people already, you know, they remarked immediately on the, the power of the attacks. It was not only just, you know, uh, um, uh, the frame data being changed, but also stuff like crush counters. Like you, you hit a big heavy button in Street Fighter 4 and you might combo after it or do whatever. Uh, in Street Fighter 5, you get this big explosion, a sound effect, all this other kind of stuff. And those attacks feel much more powerful because of that, right? Mm -hmm. I would compare it to the uh, original Mortal Kombat, how Ed Boon talked about how you make the screen shake and the crowd would go ooh after you landed an uppercut and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's how attacks feel kind of in general in Street Fighter 6 right now. So it's not just an input delay thing, it is also just kind of the way they, they've really kind of beefed up the characters and when they hit you it feels like it hurts right now. Do you feel this in um, dashing and walking movements as yes, well? everything. And yeah. then does, does that mean that in your experience does the game lend itself more to uh, maneuvering on the ground or by air and, and like is it better to jump forward a lot and jump and 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 you know because it's hard to it sounds like it's easy to deal with stuff from the air because people are in the air for a while so does yeah. that mean that it's it's a, a better strategy here early on right now to approach from the land definitely yeah um uh, especially against some more experienced players uh, i played punk for about 30 minutes uh we split our games um i think we we're like three three four four or something like that um and 
in neither one of us was jumping much or we're playing the, the more traditional Street Fighter footsies and it's actually this might be where it's a departure from five where five really rewards jumps I that is very un Street Fighter like at least in terms uh, since Street Fighter 2 Street Fighter 2 really mm -hmm. re, uh, rewarded jumps as well um, but this feels more like a callback to Street Fighter 4 where if you jump you're you might be risking quite a bit uh, in Street Fighter 5 man it's like I mean you could not jump but at some point in time, you're going to jump, you know, so that's, yeah. that's kind of how that game Because one of those jumps is going to work, yep. and then you're going to be an Evo champion. <laughs> yeah, pretty that's much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how okay, do you feel so... about jumping, John? Tell me as a pure Street Fighter Four tournament player how you feel about jumps, because it seems like you really <laughs> I, like them. So. I always learned that, you know, like that's a bad habit, and that's something that I've had mm -hmm. to teach myself out of in Street yeah. Fighter Five. That doesn't mean I didn't do it. It just means I felt guilty every time I did it. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of the worst of both worlds. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's... It, and, and that's it, this does feel again like they are they are taking the best elements of all the games that have come before that and trying to make that all into a single title whether they're going to be successful with that or not is you know that remains to be seen but so far the game feels really good and really fun and that's what a numbered street fighter game should be you should take the elements that have worked in past games and put them into the new one and then also add some new stuff on top of it we're not even in vanilla yet. We are in the, the, the beans are still being processed and such uh, here in like the, the beta version. Damage output is always insanely higher in vanilla compared to the rest of the life of a, of a Street Fighter game as far as I've understood it thus far in, in my um, career. So does it feel like damage output is particularly high right now? Um, and how many touches if, if you are Fairly, if you kind of understand, you know, yeah. the biggest damage combos and such uh, at this point, how many touches is around? Uh, I would say this falls more in the Street Fighter 4 era than the, the 5 era. Um, I, I would, because um, 5 feels like what two or three touches and you're dead uh mm -hmm. and i know that four kind of started off i think with one more touch on there like probably had four touches and stuff and then they as the game went on they tried to get it to like five or six touches and then you're dead mm -hmm. um and you know that dep depending on the character if you played someone dumb like abuki in street fighter 4 um i mean yeah you've got like five or six touches to kill someone but they're in a vortex at that point so it's like yeah you've got more chances to theoretically escape but you're not going to you're gonna die i assume and there's so no vortex at least not yet in this game yeah yeah so i would say right now to, to directly answer your question it would be probably about five touches it's more than street fighter 5 it feels like right now but no one's optimized on combos uh no one knows the okazemi setups and stuff there's quite a bit more breathing room in street fighter 6 as it is right now uh, and i think it's going to stay that way as well you've got stuff like parries and you've got other things that there's just going to be more defensive options in the hardcore snowball effect that happened in Street Fighter V. I don't think it's going to be as prominent in Street Fighter VI uh, as it is currently in the, the, the current Street Fighter we're playing. I cannot hear a conversation about Street Fighter VI these days without hearing it compared to Street Fighter V. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, that's just kind of what we do. But I'm also hearing stuff like Street Fighter V.5. I know you brought that up in your video a little bit. Uh, but I wanted to dig in a little bit more and say, what exactly does that mean? Because you said that there are both components that will be very much like Street Fighter V, and then there are other components that if you just try to copy-paste your Street Fighter V approach, you will not work for you. Can you talk a little bit about what those yeah. are? Yeah, and it's the heaviness of the attacks, like the power of the attacks, like in those, I mean, I'm not used to heavy buttons, just obliterating the opponent. Uh, and mm. that's that's fairly, um, that was more common in Street Fighter 2, especially if you chained a few heavy attacks together in a combo, someone was dead, or you do a re-dizzy or something like that. Like uh, mm -hmm. Street Fighter 2 had re-dizzies in there. Uh, there was some nasty stuff. Uh, Bison had a touch of death combo and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, and, and in the heaviness, like, you know, you, you string a couple heavy attacks together in Street Fighter 4, and it's like, you probably did like 20 or 30% damage, but you do that same thing in Street Fighter 5, and you're doing 40, 50% damage, and then you've got Oki on top of it, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's where the feeling of Street Fighter uh, 5 comes into 6, is like, those heavy attacks, they hurt. The game really you know, you, you get punished from, from hitting those long combos. Go ahead. Do, do you start with those heavy attacks? Like, are those your combo openers? Mm, depends on, it depends on the character. Uh, like, for example, Ryu feels almost identical to his Street Fighter V counterpart. Uh, there's some extra moves and extra stuff in there, but like, if you're a Street Fighter uh, V Ryu player, you could probably pick up Street Fighter VI and not miss much of a beat at all. There's going to be some new combos, there's going to be some new things you're doing, but man, does that feel so much like traditional Ryu, but that is a very good thing. When Ryu does 
does not feel like Ryu, you have messed up Capcom. Don't ever do you that. You might not have a Street Fighter game you, if Ryu you, doesn't you have, feel like Ryu. Yeah, you have messed up on a fundamental level if you mess up Ryu. And so that mm -hmm. that's really good that he feels that way. You would want him probably overall to feel a little bit more like Street Fighter 4 Ryu than, than Street Fighter 5 because that's more Ryu, like the Chuck and the Plasma, right? Um, yeah. But at least, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, but th that's really where uh, it's just you, you pick up the game and you play it and you're like, man, this this feels very familiar. You know, if you're a Street Fighter Five player and you, you, you're like, this feels like exactly what I remember. But you go back and play Street Fighter Four and it's like, OK, this feels a little bit different. It still feels like Street Fighter, but it feels, you know, you're, you're, you're going into more of the footsies and more neutral based play at that point. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I do think that Capcom wants people up in the, you know, their faces uh, like they want you playing offense. They want you doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just don't think that defense is going to be so incredibly poor uh, this time around. I think you're going to have decent defensive options. And, and something I keep telling people is like, this is the exact same development team that built Street Fighter V. It's not like they brought in, you know, a, and completely reinvented the wheel here. There's a few new people on there. Uh, the, the Mega Man 11 producer and uh, um, one of the, the people from Bayonetta. Um, and I don't know if they're working on the core gameplay as much as they're working on like, you know, the World Tour and the, uh, what is it, Battle Hub, all that kind of stuff, like those extra mm -hmm. modes. Uh, and, you know, and good on them. They've got a really awesome development team working on this game. Uh, and again, I love Street Fighter V, but it, it really comes into, in terms of why it feels so much, it's like the moment you pick it up, it feels very familiar to what you're currently 